Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovelies. So today I will be using the Celestial Parrot, guys. And I'm really sorry for yesterday's long intro. Today I will be just giving you a two minutes um, intro about this deck and how I use it and what are the rituals that I perform before using this deck. Okay, so if you're using the Celestial Tarot, you can perform these uh, rituals or these things to kind of enhance the experience of the readings and the readings will be more accurate. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a bowl which is filled with rainwater guys you can yesterday it was raining in my place so i kind of collected some rainwater and if you uh, if you can collect a rainwater you can collect because this uh, deck really works well okay and i have also added some salt and outside of it and i have like just kept it overnight under the moonlight okay and the celestial deck over here if you can see this deck was inspired from the greek mythology guys okay the, and the every deck has a story of its own like it has a story from the greek mythology most of the names can also be like what to say most of the names that are written on this deck are also like greek names so if you are familiar with the greek mythology and if you like uh, exploring more about it you can you can get this deck guys and also another thing about this deck is that you can connect deeply with the greek gods and with the greek goddesses if you uh, and yes guys just before starting the reading with this deck you can pray to the greek god and goddesses to kind of help you with the reading so that they can help you to kind of channel uh, channel the messages on your own and yes that is it about these gods guys and another thing about uh, this deck is that guys if you feel this deck is too powerful if you feel somewhat weird working with this deck then you can also like keep some crystals near you light a candle or like keep a bowl of salt near you or wear a salt pendant or if you do such things like if you keep the environment like that with crystals and salt and everything guys the energy will get absorbed into that and it won't affect too much so these are all of the tips that i have for you all now let us start the reading guys my lovelies So hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Aries. So this is going to be your daily reading Aries for your general energies and also for your love energies Aries. So for your general energies, we have the hangman in reverse and for your love energies, we have the prince of swords in reverse. So with the hanged man, all I can see here is that there's a lot going on with this person okay they're just hanging they don't know what's the reality and what's the dream and they're just hanging in between they're not able to make a correct decision because they don't know what's right and what's wrong and they don't know what they're supposed to do and what they're not supposed to do and this is just uh, making this person feel weird this is just making this person think too much is what i'm getting here okay so that is uh, the overall energy that i can get for you guys and for your love energy is all i can see here is you guys uh, this person is not in a good situation there are too many people influencing this person there are too many people who is like telling this person to act a certain way to talk a certain way to behave a certain way and it is just getting very distracted for this person to understand things completely it is just getting distracted for this person to make a decision 
over things and yes guys it is just um, too irritating for this person to make a decision and they're feeling really irritated they don't know what they're doing they don't know what they're manifesting there is just a lot of things that they need to focus on before manifesting before coming towards you and i can see here that this person right now there are too many people influencing them guys there are people telling them to not go towards you there are people telling them to not talk to you there are people telling them to kind of like there are different opinions coming from everywhere and even certain rumors coming about you you can be someone who is very popular or something like that guys because i can see here that uh, there are a lot of rumors about you so certain things that are not true this person i don't know how they kind of like who gave them these rumors but this person definitely believes these rumors and they think that these rumors are true even though these are just rumors because maybe you've lied to this person before you've um you've done something wrong which makes this person not believe you which makes this person always think about you from a negative angle is what i'm getting here but i am definitely seeing that a lot of people are influencing them there's a lot of influence with this person and that is all i'm getting here guys my lovely aries thank you all so much for aries guys watching bye guys see you all tomorrow aries bye